Hi everybody, Claire here. Um, I'm bringing you today's Think on These Things. So I've been reading um, from Acts 12 about Peter's miraculous escape from prison. Um, and I just have a few things that I wanted to share with us. So for those of you who don't know the story, Peter has been imprisoned for his faith. Um, and Herod has done it because he's already... Um, killed James the brother of John and he's seen that it's pleased the Jews so therefore he thinks that um, let's carry on with this because it's making me look good so he imprisons Peter um, but because it's the Passover festival he um, has to wait to um, bring him to trial so Peter is in prison he's uh, Herod has guarded him heavily with four squads of four soldiers um, because I think he's probably worried that he's going to escape um, and he should be as we'll find out um, so from verse 5 so Peter was kept in prison but the church was earnestly praying to God for him um, that's kind of my first point that the church was earnestly praying um, we've heard lots um, from others about the importance of praying in this situation and um, I really just want to join with that and um, just urge us to keep praying, to be earnestly praying um, for each other, for those on the front lines, for the whole situation that we find ourselves in. Um, it's um, Prayer changes things and we know that, we've seen that, so let's keep praying. Um, the second point that um, I'd like to make is that um, God showed up miraculously. So um, from verse 7 it says suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick get up he said and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. The angel said to him put on your clothes and sandals and Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me the angel told him. Peter followed him out of the prison. He had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. Um, they passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Um, I just love that um, just before this happened, Peter was sleeping soundly um, in verse 6. He was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't think I would be sleeping soundly in that situation. I think I would be probably panicking, um, worrying. Um, it was the day before his trial. He was, um, you know, if I don't know about you, but in situations where something important's happening the next day, actually it can really play on your mind. But Peter was sleeping soundly. He had that much faith and trust in God. And I just want to pray um, for anyone who is struggling at this point in time with peace um, Holy Spirit, we just pray for peace on your, on households right now. Um, we ask, Lord, that you will come and you will bring the same peace that Peter experienced in, in this situation as he was imprisoned. Um, but going back to the story, um, Peter uh, uh, was miraculously released from prison. And as, he, um, as we get to verse 11, it says, Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were anticipating. And as I read this bit, um, the word anticipating really stuck out to me. Um, anticipating means uh, something that's predicted or something that's um, thought to happen. Um, and I just wrote down... What am I anticipating if God doesn't show up? Um, in our situation, in the situation that we find ourselves in right now, um, we're hearing about a lot about the future, about what is anticipated, what is likely to happen. Um, what was anticipated by the Jews is that Peter would be killed for his faith. Um, what is anticipated by scientists, by government, by those in, um, you know, who are plotting different charts and things. Let's be praying, church, that actually God really shows up, that what is anticipated doesn't occur because of God's miraculous power. So keep praying in earnest. Keep uh, 
seeking God for the miraculous, for the impossible. Let's ask for God to break into this situation or any situation that you're facing. And let's be at peace as well. Let's let the God whose peace that passes all understanding just flow and through us and in us and be very present in our homes in this situation. Love you, church. Uh, take care. Stay safe and hopefully see you soon.